Hello, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Diagrams tutorial series, you will learn how to create stacked cubes in PowerPoint. The diagram you are going to learn today looks like this. Isn't this beautiful? It's very easy to create this diagram and it's extremely useful in a number of situations, be it to represent a hierarchy. Uh, in, in an organization or if you want to talk about the overarching vision of the organization, the guiding principles and uh, maybe the day-to-day -day operations and the goals. There are so many ways in which you can represent uh, concepts using the stacked cubes diagram in PowerPoint. And the beauty of this is the entire diagram is created using one auto shape. Let us see how to create this diagram from scratch. The first step is to go to Auto Shapes menu and under Basic Shapes you will find this tool called as Cube Tool. Click on it and we are going to draw our base here. As you can see, there, are, there, is, an, there is a yellow handle here which allows you to increase or decrease the height of the cube here. I mean, technically this is a cuboid rather. So you can increase or decrease the height. And at the same time, as you increase the height, you will also have this one, which is the top table surface, reducing or increasing in width. So you can have a diagram that looks as flat as this, which looks more like a platform, or you can have something that looks like a bar, a block, a rectangular block. So this is how we create the base shape which we are going to replicate to create our diagram. Let us now create two equal halves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack the same shape again on top. The way I did this is I held the control button while I dragged the shape to its new location. That creates a copy and it is one of the easiest ways to create a copy of an object. Now let us make two halves of this. Now as I told you earlier, I am going to hold the control button while I move the shape to its new location. Now this is the new one. Now I can either reduce this or I can increase this. I prefer to increase this because that creates two equal halves because then you may have to uh, play with the, sh the size of both of them. That is one way to do it in a rough and ready way. If you really want to um, do it in a very precise fashion, then you can actually have say this one as 10 and then you can have 5, 5 here and 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5 here. You can really work out how you want to use uh, your calculations to create the diagram of your choice. I'm, I'm just creating something that you can use very easily. So I'm going to increase the size slightly and then I'm going to move this here or maybe slightly to the left and I'm going to make more copies and I'm going to keep it here so this one I want to align here and maybe all of them I'm going to distribute horizontally you can find the same option available here under align and call it distribute horizontally so there is equal space here if you think the space is a little too much then you can always go to format size and the width you can increase from 2.01 to 2.1 that's that's a little too much maybe 2.06 uh, would be ideal yeah that seems good enough once we have this aligning we can have distribute horizontally and there it is it is in perfect uh, distribution now I'm going to make another copy and stack this on top of this to complete the diagram now to make the lines obvious you're going to choose shape outline as white you can choose any color for example if I choose aqua color here you can see that the darker version automatically gets applied to the sides and a lighter version gets applied to the top let me do that again let me use the same aqua color you can see here a lighter version 
is applied to the top and a darker version to the side and all this happens automatically that's the beauty of this shape let us uh, give these two shapes some other color maybe the green color and these can be given tan color and you can write your text here you can replace this sample text with yours and I'm going to keep it here maybe increase the font to 20 and I can have a copy of that here as well and I can write more text in all these other places so that is how you complete the diagram to make to add a shadow to this select everything press ctrl G to group it go to shape effects shadow and choose one of the perspective shadows here you can choose the one on the left it is better to choose the one on the right because the angle at which this particular stack is seen it is a good idea to have the shadow falling on to the right so that is how we have um, this diagram created this is one way to represent building as well and building is a very important concept in any presentation I'm going to show you some example templates where we have shown the concept of building and collapsing using custom animation and the templates that I'm going to show you are taken from our 630 plus advanced custom animation templates pack for busy business presenters like you the first one is this as you can see here we are taking literally the word build and each of them each of the letters is being built let me take another example this is about building a business and there are various factors that lead to building the business so the first one is here then next one is stacked on top of it as you can see here a hand comes and stacks each of these components and the associated text comes and you can and to have this particular slide in your presentation all you need to do is to insert this slide to your slide deck replace the sample text with your own text and that is it the entire animation and everything is retained and your business slides get ready in no time it's one of the fastest and smartest ways to build animated slides in a business presentation let us take another one which talks about four factors that build up and see the kind of animation that we use all these are fairly advanced uh, animations because we even write the numbers here on top and this one the four factors that build up let me show you another one this talks about stack of cards falling down and see how we have used just custom animation to show a very interesting concept of collapsing this is about your text about the revenue build up stage and the disturbing factors in the market which leads to the building collapsing to create something like this the amount of animation involved is enormous just take a look at all the animation that goes into making this whole diagram happen it just goes on and on and naturally it takes a lot of time for you to create this let me show you the last one which talks about removing the key element which leads to collapse first we talk about the building or the stack or the multiple factors that depend on one another and then one factor that is removed leads to the whole thing getting collapsed these are all some useful business concepts and in our 630 plus advanced custom animation templates there are tons of concepts to help you illustrate just about any concept you can imagine like I mentioned earlier to create an animated slide all you need to do is to insert one of the templates that matches your thought replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time creating professional quality animated slides has never been easier hope you liked our tutorial on creating stacked cubes in PowerPoint if you want to learn more such tutorials if you want to read articles to improve your presentation skills or PowerPoint skills or if you want to watch more videos like the one that you've just seen you can visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.